Hi, I'm Toby and I want to show you how you can create a little AR experience just on your phone, no coding required. So the app is called Reality Composer and currently it's only available for iPhone. You can download it in the App Store and if you launch the app, you will have this menu, click on this little plus icon here on the top right and then choose the anchor. So we can probably take the horizontal scene, which could be a table or just the floor, but we could also take walls with the vertical one or have a tracked image or even facial tracking. But for now, take the horizontal one. So now we are in the basic scene. We have this little cube and if we tap it, we can see a few arrows and a circle. So if we click on these arrows, we can move it upwards to uh, the side and front and back. And as you already saw, if we want to scale it, we can just grab the circle, move it further away or closer. And if we want to rotate it, the same thing, just click on the circle and drag it around. If you want to scale or rotate on a different axis, just click on one of these arrows and just rotate it. If we want to take a look at AR, we can just click on this AR button here and then move around our phone. And here we go. Here is our cube. Then let's go back into the 3D view. And now we want to add or maybe let's delete this one by clicking on the cube, going to the delete option. And we can also delete this select to edit object as it's just there as a standard reference. Then just click on the plus icon. And here we have a big content library of different 3D objects. A lot of them are also 3D scanned, which is quite interesting. And just let's um, create a little menu here. So maybe take the burger, which is quite cool. And also add a little bit of, um, of pizza maybe. Yeah, that would be great. So this one is not on our phone currently, so it will be downloaded. So don't worry if your objects do not pop up right away. And this looks great. Okay. So let's move it around a bit. And as you can see, it's sometimes it's a bit annoying to move things around. So let's click on this little cube icon here, select an object. And here we have also just the transform options where we can just enter a value um, and then maybe also change the scale on a percentage. And we have also something quite interesting, which is physics. So the next thing I can show you is the interaction mode. So if we now enable physics, motion type fixed, that means it won't move, but it can collide with other objects. Then the material, here it's wood. We don't have that many options, but it's just basically saying, okay, this object behaves like wood. Collision shape, we don't have to think about that for now. And also maybe select the pizza, do the same thing. So enable the physics. And um, let's add another object. Maybe let's add a, where is it? I want to add a ball. There's a basketball here. Let's see where it is. Oh, I can't find it. Oh, probably here somewhere. Yes, here it is, basketball. Okay, so let's take this one and um, scale it down. Oh, that's too much. Okay, let's rather take this menu here uh, on the on the cube. So like that, let's reset the transform. So it's somewhere in the middle. And let's add something else. Let's add a little wall. So we click on the shape here and those standard shapes, they are great because um, if we click on this one, we have the option to modify. So that means we can just change the shape. Oops. So um, we can make this one a wall, move it up, click on it. Oops. Then click on it again to modify. Let's make this a bit longer, a bit higher, maybe like that. Yeah, here we go. Move it down like that. So it's on the ground scale it a bit more. Okay, so I think we get it right now. And then we'll just move it somewhere in the middle and a bit more up. Okay, perfect. So now let's click on the basketball. 
and let's add a behavior. So this is the final thing that is quite interesting about this app. So if we click on the three dots here on um, behaviors, then we can uh, add a behavior and the behavior is somewhat a way to interact with these 3D models. So let's click plus and then um, go on custom, add a custom behavior. There's some pre-made, but I found that the custom behaviors are much more of the things that I need. Okay, then we want to say if we tap, so let's click on the behavior. So if we tap what, choose, if we tap on the basketball, then let's click on the right empty um, field here. What, what, what do we want to do? So there are a lot of options. We can move, we can rotate, we can do certain things. We want to add a force. And it's saying, oh, the basketball is not basically a physics object. Do you want to make the basketball a physics object? Yes, we want to do that. And now we have this arrow up here. Let's move it down a bit. And let's just see what happens if we play. Oh, so the ball is flying away. That's maybe a little fast. So let's drag down the velocity and click on play again. Ah, okay, so now it's somewhere next to ah, okay so here we go so now if we start uh, our uh, experience the ball will fly somewhere like that um, and if we click on the force we can also choose the direction and um, the angle that it should fly towards so let's take this one and move it a bit forward like that so it should fly straight forward okay and as you can already see there is some collision action happening but i think we will still need to define our wall as a physics object like this and now if we um, play the app and click on the basketball you will see that it will fly up and collide with the wall. Maybe we can also just move the burger out of the way. We won't need that anymore. Oops, like this. And then click here. Oh yeah, so setting some wall. And now let's see how this looks in AR. Click the AR button, moving the phone. Here we go. Then we want to, let's click on play and let's, oh no, let's rescale the whole scene first so just click somewhere where it's not where there's no object and just rescale the uh, scene like this and um, let's click on play so now if we hit the ball oh, it will fly it will collide and it will stay somewhere here so what's really interesting though about the reality composer is that you are able to import object that means if we now go on to sketchfab so Sketchfab is one of the biggest platforms of 3D models. We can um, search for a USDZ, a universal scene description file. This is the data type like a JPEG or PNG or whatever data type, for example, for images. There is the USDZ file is the one that is uh, created by Apple. There's also GLTF or GLB by Google. And this is the one that is responsible for uh, 3D models that uh, we can use in the Reality Composer app. So if we scroll down a bit, we'll find a lot. And I also already prepared something. So I found um, a model of a whole scene and also a model of a person. And what's very interesting right now is if we go into AR mode, we can actually look at whole scenes. And um, I have to say that, of course, the functionality of the Reality Composer is quite limited right now. So you have little scenes, little actions that you can have, but I'm pretty sure that in the future, especially when we should get some kind of Apple headset, that this app's gonna be expanded and you will be able to create whole interactive experience, maybe even little games, little films. And so I think it's already worth it to get to know the application, play around with it, see what you can do, and then as soon as some more updates will come, this will be a, a very fun thing to do. But right now it's already quite cool. 
especially to do some product showcases, for example, for e-commerce and basically any other um, any other field where you don't need a huge amount of interactability, but rather want to have um, just to sh show something that looks cool in augmented reality. Okay, that's it for today. I hope it was fun and see you next time.